Hey, Missy, do you want some crystal meth? Yes. I don't even know what crystal meth looks like, to be quite honest with you, but oh well, I guess we have to Google it. Wait, wait, wait. What, what is the opposite of no? Yes. Hey, Missy, do you want some crystal meth? Thanks! Now we can edit that together. <laughs> no! Okay, John. No! Okay, don't John. Be Hey everybody, Eric Curto here from YourRealityRecaps.com with an all-new Survivor Blood vs. Water weekly group recap show that we broadcast live every Thursday on our YouTube channel and in our Z-Box room. And during these shows, myself, John, and Missy Z get in-depth on everything from this past week's Survivor, all while taking your questions live and interacting with all of you. Now, this is the edited version with all the bells and whistles, but you guys should totally join us for the live version sometimes, too. So, before we get started, remember, if you guys are watching in YouTube or on a YouTube player, you can click on the buttons all around this video to jump to, you know, different parts of the show. Also, if you're watching in YouTube, check out the description below because there's also chapter markers, and they allow you to skip to a specific topic you want to hear us talk about, or skip over ones like this intro, but why would you guys want to do that? And of course, all of our other links and show notes are down there as well. You should also know by now that you can take the audio only or video versions of our show with you to go on your favorite tablet or mobile device. Our iTunes and RSS feed links are, guess where? Down there below too. So do us a favor, if you're watching on YouTube, thumbs up, subscribe so that you guys never miss any of our shows, share them with all your friends on your favorite social media network, and if you're on iTunes, give us a five star rating and a nice review really helps support the show, and you know what? It keeps us doing them for free for you guys all season long. So, make sure that you guys stick around to the end of the episode for all of our other special announcements, prize giveaways, and, you know, other rigmarole. But, since we have so much to get to this week, let's just jump right into it, and you know the deal, you can follow me over at Twitter and at Reality Recaps. Hey guys, it's me, super fan Missy Z. Huge Big Brother fan, loving Survivor this season. You can follow me on Twitter at MI55Y. Hey everyone, it's John Richardson. What a fun episode last night. Lots happened. Can't wait to discuss it with my two favorite people. You can follow me at Comedy Jonah on Twitter. Hey guys, I feel like I'm on Survivor. Here comes the rain. So if you see it pouring down and I get struck by lightning, just send me a coconut, John, because okay. me and you are going to be in this coconut alliance against Eric, but don't tell him. Um, okay? Missy, I really hate to say this because I love you, but if you could get struck by lightning, I think we could go viral. So, oh, that would be awesome. I would, I would appreciate <laughs> if you could get struck by lightning. <laughs> hey, guys, you know, I was sick last week, and I'm really sorry about that to let everybody down, especially you too. But you know what? I'm really upset that I didn't get to talk about Colton leaving so can we start there because Absolutely. i know we'll back a little bit i, I have more to say oh, what a jerk i you know we made that bet going on the week before about would he go out first and who who does that you get on a reality tv show and you quit yes granted i know he wasn't going to win i mean he was on every he was pegged by everybody he was going to be out of there but really quit I don't know. And if you follow him, him him on Twitter, his tweets are even more funny. He definitely defends himself. So uh, I don't know. A quitter. He quit, John. Still, still a quitter. You were absolutely right. I gave you props in our last show that you were absolutely right. I was shocked. And then, you know, the more, and then we learned more information that, you know, we thought he went out with kind of an appendicitis last the season he was on in One World. We found out he quit then as well. Uh -huh. How could you just leave your partner? Poor Caleb is just there Poor all alone, never played the game. Thanks, honey. Poor yeah. Poor Caleb, my ass. Let's talk about what happened at the duel, right, Eric? Because we're going to talk about Caleb. <laughs> well, wait, I just have to say, I forgot what I was eating because I said there was no way that Colton would ever quit this game. He loves it too much. I don't know if I was eating my pen, my hat, my little <laughs> jar of tacks. I have to eat, and I said I would eat. Jar of tacks. 
No, oh, no, 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 no. But yes, let's talk about the jewel. Let's talk about the jewel. Do we even care about what the challenge was? It's the controversy yeah. and, the, and, and how they talk to one another. I must say, I got to say, Eric, I wish I was wearing blue today because I love Brad. So I have a lot to say later in the show about Brad here. But he, he, they always pick on him like he's the the kingpin i don't see him as the kingpin everybody's the kingpin he just knows how to maneuver himself and use his way of words john i'm looking at your face and you're not agreeing with me at where all. brad's concerned you don't like brad well you know I, I think brad thinks he is running the show because in his little side interviews he says hey i'm running the show <laughs> so <laughs> Listen, the, but but when you get to the duel there, and you know you have Candace and John, you know who, and Candace has been a powerhouse since she started because she's okay. been there since the very beginning, mm -hmm. and then you have Marissa, and I mean we could just at this point in time just like not even talk about her because she's no longer there, but it's the words that they use with each other and and how they're implementing these little schemes in everyone's head, and I I see it, but I don't see it. Like they're really picking on the Culpeppers, and I love Monica. I love his, I love Brad's wife. I like them as a couple and just, just the words that they use against each other and everything that happens. It's like, really guys, you're really picking on the wrong ones. There's other people to be picking on Caleb and they didn't. So the duel, I love that they open up the show like that because it's so controversial and there's so much to see and it really gets your heart pumping. That's that's my favorite part of this. I love that this is getting my heart pumping. I love blood versus water. I think we're seeing a lot of different sides, even for our returning players. I like Monica. I like the fact that she's out on the island and probably not in shackles like she'd be at home because she's Brad's wife. But, you know, she seems like a really sweet person. Um, I love Candace. I mean, you know, it's, it's really different because someone like Candace who's played the game – her husband gets blindsided. You see what it brings out in her? I mean, she's flipping everyone off. Brad, you son of a bitch, you. You know, and I'm loving that. I'm loving that drama. Uh, that's so. what I like about it, the drama. Yeah, Eric. Definite, definitely drama. So Marissa, gone. She loses it. Brad wins the um, challenge first. Then Candace. John then the challenge. John, 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 sorry, sorry. John wins it first. Then Candace. Marissa is gone. And then we get the drama, Missy, because then Candace is like, oh, we're going to give it to Monica because we're going to put the pressure on her. And right. then she gets up and throws the clue. Well, Brad tells her, go throw it in the fire. Go throw it in the fire. I'm scared. Yes, honey. Yes. Okay. Was that a smart move, guys? Because for me, listen, it's Survivor. You're playing to win. You never throw <laughs> a direction to where the immunity aisle is and burn it. I mean, you just don't. I don't care what couple you are, what target you have. That's your immunity. You you could be safe. You just threw away the opportunity if you were going to get vote out. Oh, how how did she do that? I I don't understand that. I I would never do that. I I I get the fact that you know she said, "Listen, I'm on a winning team. We've never lost. We've never even gone to tribal council. I don't why put a target on my back when we don't even, we haven't even talked strategy yet, my team." So it might have been a little early on to get that clue for her, but if it was the other team, I mean, they probably would have all dough for it right in the fire, right? <laughs> like one hundred percent, and I think that's a great point. You guys should comment below and let us know what you think. Um, I agree with John Missy. I think if it was any other dynamic in that tribe, one hundred percent, she should have kept the clue. But she's <laughs> safe. Nobody's going after her. Like John said, they're not even talking Wait, strategy. I have to it's, write this on the wall because you never agree with me. It's, it's, yeah, it. put write it on the wall. It's proving. <laughs> it's just. It's putting a target on her back. Is what I'm saying. She doesn't need a target on her back. Not well, at this at this point in time, when we talk a little later in the show, I, I'm I'm sure thinking that she's wishing she wouldn't have thrown that clue away or burned well, it. Well, sure. So then let's let's get to it. It would have been so great if she could have just unscrolled it. Okay, I don't want it. No. Uh huh. Read it. <laughs> it away. 
I think, I I mean, I don't know why she didn't, if she was going to, she could have kept it, but she should have said, okay, I'm keeping this. Like, la la, walking back to camp with it. Here it is. I'm not opening it without anybody. Then they all just should have sat down in camp, unrolled it together, and everybody read it together. I think that would have been at least a little bit more, not like an F you in the face of Survivor and your clues, but you know, whatever they didn't. It's, it's an F you to us, the viewers. I want to know where that idol is. Hello. John's been given the clue. How many weeks now? He didn't find it. Now Monica gets the clue and she burns it. I want to know where the fuck it is. Oops. I think I, I know where it is. There's that tree behind you. The picture was like the big tree. I'm going. I'll be right back. By the lake. Be careful. (laughs) So, I mean, that pretty much pushes us into the immunity challenge. I mean, let's talk a little bit about what happened at immunity. I'll let you guys do it. I I think that they were, I think both teams are pretty strong. I got to say again, the Culpeppers really, Monica and uh, Brad, they dominated that challenge, getting those boxes up. Uh, Hayden did really well too. I got to talk about my boy. You know, I think Hayden did really well in that challenge. The boats were going to capsize. A fun challenge, definitely. I mean, rowing their boats, they were really off track. They need a little bit more help. And I think the best thing is, is I was talking with John before the show started about Hayden just coming right out and saying, you know, I got beat by three moms and, and a guy with a, a sore arm. I mean, really? One arm, yeah, how- one, arm, one arm guy and three moms. <laughs> yeah. I mean, how worse can it get? They really suck at challenges and they have yet to win one. So, I mean, again, yeah. that the, the immunity challenge wasn't as interesting as the duel. But of course, we need it for the game to play. But you know, it, you know, how do you? Could you got? Okay, I'm a mom, and I know you're probably like, shut up, Missy. But I'm a mom. As a mom, yeah, I could throw my partner under the bus. Shut up, John. <laughs> I could throw my partner under the bus in like two seconds. I would, I would battle it out with him, my husband, my sister, my yeah, my sister, my husband, my cousins, yeah. But my children, my daughter or son or my mother. I'd have a really tough time. I'd really have a tough time. See, I wouldn't. I would take my mother on. And, I, you know, if she was standing by a mud pool, I'd be the one that pushed her in. Oh, lies. Lies. <laughs> I do not believe that for a second. I don't I believe will... that either. I'm calling your mom, John. <laughs> I'm probably watching. Yeah, she's watching. <laughs> call in. Call in. I wish I had your mom's number. I would call her. But, Missy, you know. Missy, we have fur babies. We we have fur baby. We have I know animal children. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I, I, I don't look. I'm not. I'm not I, that crazy. <laughs> I couldn't do it to my daughter. And just like the way, I mean, just the way, like she says, you know, I knew I could beat her. I was going to beat her ass. But you know, that's a, you just don't say that. But I don't she, know. I, yeah, I, I agree. I don't think you should say that. But you also have to think about, you know, she's got a, a whole team too that can, you know. Once they start yeah. losing, could easily, you know, nominate her out because she's thinking about her daughter. And, you know, yeah. I think we really learned something in that challenge. Hey, Sierra, you're not good at puzzles. <laughs> Stop <laughs> doing them. She's not good at she's yeah. not she's not good at anything. Here's what I think. Well, here's what I here's just what I want to say by one point on it. I don't think there is any problem with the returning player booting out the person they brought along because at the end of the day if it was me and my partner missy if it was you and your husband john if it was you and your partner and we all did a show that show Mm -hmm. one time and knew the lay of the land and then our partners were there with us Mm -hmm. i would say cut them loose we know more at the end of the day we know more they should only be there to push you forward in the game i think that's my I'd cut, I'd cut my partner in 2.2 seconds, but not my mother or my children. I would cut my partner, but I would never quit on my partner. And that's the difference. That oh. is the difference. And that's where Caleb and uh, Colton come in. Mm-hmm. Why? Uh, Colton, I mean, he played this game before. He said he had this appendicitis that has never been, like, written down anywhere that he had. Quitter. Okay. Quitter. And he leaves Caleb there. And Caleb, like, where the hell did he come from? Because he's just been this growing beard guy, laying back, enjoying Survivor a little bit. And now he's, like, coming out like he's a beast. 
Well, I'll say this about um, Colton. I've listened to a lot of his interviews and seen some of the stuff that he's been tweeting. And I, he, in his defense, I'm not defending him. His defense is he did it to keep Caleb in the game. He said based on the way his tribe was playing, he knew that if he stayed in the game, Caleb would be the next target for the other side and would get voted out. So his Oh, so Colton was doing it in order to keep Caleb in the game, is what he claims now. I don't buy it at all. It doesn't it make any sense. If you guys are watching, go to the Twitter timeline and look up uh, look up Colton's tweets last night to Jeff Props. There is a fuck you in there. I'm just saying. It says fuck you. It does. I was hashtagged. I was like, just like Eric right now, my mouth is wide open. I'm like, oh shit. Really? Ouch. Read that it. Is, Just read the front line. That, that so is now we not, now now that we've is, now we've learned more things. We know that Colton is a quitter and a bad liar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and and a douchebag. Um, I I loved how we met how, a gay how, douchebag. <laughs> finally, finally. I love how <laughs> voiceover was like doing this is going to open Pandora's box. And I was like, once again, Hayden, wrong show, buddy. <laughs> wrong show. You are on Survivor now. Yeah. There wrong are no the doors. Way. There's no walls. There's no all, walls. Hayden has to do is, all Hayden has to do is smile. His pearly whites just light up the whole grounds that he's walking on. My God, he needs to do teeth commercials. He really does. He's a little bit, okay, nobody killed me for this. He is the perfect specimen of a man. I'm just saying he looks a little bigger. Like when I think of Hayden, I think of like really like ripped tight muscle. And this, he looks like bigger this season, but I'm sure he like gained weight because he knew he'd be starving. I'm just saying it's weird to see this like thicker type of a Hayden, which I like. I love, I love him. He's anyway. from Merrick. Yeah, he, uh, he listen he, i've seen hayden with his shirt off i mean we all have pretty much if we watch the live feeds but like up in person i remember him taking his shirt off and i was like to damn i mean i'm not gonna lie hayden has a great body he is tall and obviously he put on like probably about 10 15 pounds before he went on survivor only because i think he's going to end up losing it i mean we're nine days in from yeah. television view of watching. So we're going to see, we're going to start seeing them get a little bit thinner and weaker as we progress in, in this season. So, Hey, buff it up. If you got to, if you know, you're going on survivor, eat everything you can before you go. Definitely. Right. Definitely. I'm prepping. I'm prepping now. <laughs> I don't know when my season years. is. <laughs> I, I, you know, I just know someone's going to put me on that Island. I think you know, and I, I've got plenty to live off of. I think my season's 2023. 20, <laughs> I'm not sure. My my favorite, here's a little behind the scenes for you all. My favorite is like, I think the first time I met Missy in person was at the like, Big Brother party, whatever year. Do you remember, Missy? I walked up to you and you were like, you look really good. And I was like, yeah, I'm wearing Spanx. And you didn't yeah, believe he did. me. He told and me I, he was Spanx. Yeah. I was like, really? Because I told him, me too. <laughs> yeah. It's all just an illusion, people. It's all, it's all pushed down there. That's why you never see me lower than this. <laughs> and this is why I always say this part up. I'm just joking. I don't care. You either love me or hate me. I don't care. I am who I am. But I do wear Spanx on special Amen, sister. Amen. Me too. Me too. A Amen. And speaking of Spanx, the newbies got spanked in that immunity challenge because the returning players won yet again. So, back to the island we go, and now we have a little bit of this strategy from Brad, which is kind of confusing me, because he's telling Sierra mm -hmm. that he is voting for um, Caleb, correct? Mm -hmm. So now, I don't understand why, when we're cutting, t or is there any other strategy that you guys want to talk about that happened pre-Tribal um, Council? No, because there really isn't too much strategy going on. I mean, they just keep losing. They realize it, and they have to go with, you know, what they've put in motion. And what they put in motion was to get rid of the girls. You know, I mean, you know, the man hold tight, get rid of the girls. And now, like, I don't even know where the strategy came from. That Ca I didn't even know that Caleb even knew that he was possibly going to be the one out. So I like totally missed that. Or did you yeah. guys see? No, like, that's that's attention? my that's my question. I wasn't understanding Brad's strategy about okay, we all have loved ones on the the other team still, except for Caleb. Maybe we should vote him out. 
I don't understand what the strategy is so that when they get to the merge, they can all merge with their loved ones and then their old alliances are dead. I don't, I didn't understand that. But I mean, it lit the fire under Caleb as far as, oh my gosh, I'm more vulnerable than I thought. Well, right? I, I, totally. But I think what Missy's saying is kind of what I was <laughs> alluding to. <laughs> and it's, there was, where did this whole Caleb being the target come from? All episode long, Brad was telling Sierra that, right. uh, you know, it, it was like a different thing. And then once we got to tribal council, it was all of a sudden, Caleb has figured out that he's the target. And well, then because Brad said that. He said, we all have loved ones on the other side. Caleb doesn't. We should vote him out. And I didn't understand his reasoning behind why. But, but who told Caleb? That's what I want to know. See, I, I didn't know if I took a drink or I sneezed or I blinked and I missed it. Who told Caleb that this is what Brad was saying? It was Jeff's question. I mean, if we're to yes. believe what we're watching, then okay, Jeff's gotcha. question is gotcha. what tipped him off because right. Jeff basically said what John said. Like, so is right. there this problem where if your partner's on the other side, does that help you or hurt you? So that's kind of what tipped him off. And then God love Caleb. He kind of throws in a little bit of the Colton strategy and is just like, I'm voting for Brad. Girls, do whatever the hell you want, but that's <laughs> going to be three in the front and it's up to you guys in the back. And Hayden, this episode, is blowing me away. What are you doing, Hayden? This... He didn't know what he was doing. He no. he had a pen malfunction. <laughs> that's that's the problem. The ink wasn't working. He had to like scribble. Right. You know? He had to scribble. The first time it's a tie. We have a tie the first yep. time around. We have a tie. And I I I still I'm still having a hard time believing that we have this tie. And then we go back for the second voting. And Brad gets put out his buff. It's over. But he handled it so respectfully. Again, <laughs> I'd have turned around and I'd have said, you son of a bitch. You so know? you would have done a Candace. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd have done it. Yeah, I'd have done it. Fuck you. I should, you know, excuse my language tonight. But I'd have been, I'm, I'm mad. Yeah. I would have been like this. Should have wrote your name down. Gave you the opportunity. I'll get you. I'll see you in Redemption Island. Well, you know, no. I, I never write your name down. I, I told you I wouldn't. Peace well, out. The, Hello, it, you're playing for money. <laughs> well, there's a chance if Brad wins Redemption Island and comes back in, he needs friends, so he can't tell everyone to go F themselves, not just yet. But the fact that he was blindsided like that, I mean, talk about people starting to get a little fed up with him as far as yeah. controlling everything. I think Caleb just kind of lit the match for it, and then it, and everyone just kind of threw their wood into the fire, and kaboom. Because he's on Redemption Island now, where he belongs. Caleb, yeah. who's so alone, lit that match and caused chaos. Mm -hmm. He really did. I'm, I'm proud of him. We need that I'm drama. I'm so proud of him. He is Colton, except Caleb can follow through with a plan. Oh, he doesn't quit. And right. he's respectable and doesn't quit. But see, I and disagree sure. with you. I Well, don't thank me, F. John. I disagree <laughs> with you because I don't I, think Brad... <laughs> I don't... Uh, exactly. Erased. I don't think that Brad was blindsided because Caleb said, I'm voting for him, girls, you vote along. He kind of knew he had a chance to defend himself in that moment. So I don't think he was blindsided. Then I disagree with you, Missy. Well, no, I don't disagree. You're right. He should have flipped out. But instead, he did this bipolar, like, I've been all aggressive this whole time. Right. Now that I'm voted out, like, I love you. It's okay, right? We're all cool, right? We're cool? We're good? No, no, really, we're good? We're good, right? We're all good? I was like, what are you doing? Like, he That's just like seemed crazy to me in that Sitting moment. around the campfire making s'mores. Hello, it's Survivor. Yeah, it's like uh, he ripped the mask off. It was like, I'm fighting, think... I'm fighting. And then, hi, everybody, I love y'all. Yeah. Game. I don't think Brad knew he was going to get called out like that during the um, tribal council. During, during the tribal council. <laughs> Thank you, Missy. You're so welcome. it was a little bit of a blindsided. I think he thought he had the votes and that it was just like, whatever, Caleb, you're, you're going or Sierra's going or whatever. And was surprised that they weren't. And was surprised that more people felt the way Caleb did. So by it being a tie, correct, in the beginning, it was Caleb and the two girls that voted for um, Brad, yeah. and then it was Hayden, Brad, and um, our, our uh, oh my god. I Artist Vitus. Yes, yeah. Vitus. Okay. His brother, they vote. Okay, so I get it. And then ultimately, it was the Vitus who flipped the vote to boot Brad out. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yep. Because because and, Hayden's pen didn't work. Exactly. The ink ran out. Listen, John, can will you be in my side alliance? Can we be the coconut alliance? Yes. Okay. I'll, I'll so hide every, anything from Eric. Yes. We're hiding it from Eric. We're going to be in this coconut alliance, me and you, okay? We're going to let him think that the bugs are drinking all the milk out of the coconuts, but it's just me and you. You got this. We got it. Good. Eric knows nothing about it. Fans don't tell Eric. Me and John, Coconut Alliance from here on out. Hashtag Coconut Alliance. That's right. <laughs> Am I allowed to listen again? Okay, I'm back. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Um, you sure are thirsty, aren't you, Eric? <laughs> I sure am thirsty. Here is some coconut water. Uh, <laughs> where did I get it from? Save you it. Two, you you better savor keep, it. <laughs> you two can keep opening coconuts. I'll drink it from the bottle. Uh I don't know how they fell for that. Like, how did they think a crab was breaking through the coconut that you're aware you need a sledgehammer and a pickaxe for? Brainiacs? Listen, they're vet players. That's what... They're vet players. So this is why I'm like, are you really going to fall for this? And does Tyson and Jarvis, Jarvis really think that now, because they're in this alliance, they're the two that are going to go to the end because they're never going to tell on each other because they're sharing coconut milk? I mean, really? I don't get it. I don't from, get it at all. From what I know of Tyson, he is not to be trusted. He's a great game player and a strategist. I think he will use it against him the first chance he gets just as like a power. And what's with Tyson faking his shoulder injury as well? Like, oh, they're, he's, they're going to regret doing that together because Tyson's going to sell him down the river the first chance it benefits him. Wait and well, say. the thing is... You know, the, the newbies are, are dwindling off one by one, and we're going to have a merge sooner than I think that we expect. So it's all going to change. Um, it, last night was a really great episode. Like you said, the duel is always the best part. I can't wait to see the duel next week. I so much would have loved for Survivor to continue last night because I really want to know what's happening, especially when, you know, Brad gets to redemption and Monica's like, do you want to switch spots? Dun, dun, dun. Do they well, switch spots? Let's go, guys. Well, sh uh, oh, well, I whatever I say, clearly go the opposite <laughs> this season because I've been wrong with everything. But here's my one little point. Why was everybody shocked by Tribal Council when the coming attractions for tonight, last night's episode, they were like, uh, is Jeff Probst saying, it, this is the most shocking change of power ever. I never saw it coming. It was obvious that was going to happen. I don't get why everybody was so blindsided, is all I'm saying. So, P.S., next week, when Monica does switch with Brad, that's not a shock either, everyone. We saw it in the coming attractions. Just saying. But if do you really think that he's going to say yes? Of course he is. He's a douchebag. Oh, I hope he doesn't. I No, <laughs> I don't want like you didn't tell her when to go after themselves, huh? <laughs> Cuz he's going to switch with his wife. How do you how do you go to the tribe that really thinks that you're the kingpin anyway? They've been they've been cursing him out the whole entire time. So why would you want to switch spots? And be with why Jervis, who is his his big, you know, Frenemy, oh, yeah. whatever. Oh no, I hope it doesn't happen. And I and I'd like to see Monica. I'd really like to see Monica and Brad stay all the way through. It's more entertaining with them. If they get rid of them, it's going to start to. Nyeh. I mean, Caleb's just not doing it for me. I mean, he needs a little more drama than what he's bringing. I don't know. And Sierra, I mean, come on, the girl's done with puzzles. What else is there? Who's going to be flipping off who? Candace and John. We need the drama. We need the drama. And and Kat too. She she hasn't played any immunity challenge. She sits out every one. Why are you laughing, John? You're just so funny. <laughs> I know. I'm just so involved. That's my problem. I, get I agree with you, Missy. It's like Kat who? Where is Kat then? She was the her only role so far this season, honestly, and Kat, I love you, has been to be yelled at by Colton. That is the only yeah. time she's being yelled at in a boat, being yelled at on the beach, being yelled at a tribe. All by Colton is the only time we've seen Kat this season. Well, Come I think Kat. that's what it 
that's what it is for me. I don't know anything about her besides that she's Hayden's girlfriend, you know, and I wish I knew more about her and maybe I should just look it up on the internet or, hey, call her up and say, hey, Kat, I'd really like to get to know you because you know, I want to know what to say in these recaps that I'm doing, you know, but I'd like to see more of her because I, I don't know anything about her. Like in the game, I don't know. I mean, yeah, she's boisterous on the side. She's definitely a cheerleader, a team player, you know, but I want to see her play the game and I haven't, I haven't got to learn anything about her yet. So I'm looking forward to that. But the Cole Peppers, like I'm really in love with Monica and Brad's not so bad. I'm sorry. I, I happen to like him. You guys can shoot me. I don't care. Survivor, but I, I like him. So I don't want to see him go anywhere. Well, if you like tattooed crystal meth in a dark alley, yeah, I guess. And that's, it's <laughs> that's me. <laughs> I no. love it. <laughs> I, I love Brad. I love anybody that brings the drama to the show. I 100% agree. We need Brad there for drama. But you guys let us know what you think well, in the comments still section. still be there. <laughs> yeah, he's going to still be there. So what is our official ruling for Monica next week? I'll, I'll, I'll eat my pen next week. Uh, so my vote is that Monica will switch with Brad. You guys comment. Let us know what you think below. John, what do you think? I don't like to agree with you either. I'm not agreeing. It's that oh. simple because I want Brad to be the man and stay and fight in Redemption oh. Island. Let Monica, she's safe now. He's the one with the target. Why put it, why switch that up? If they were smart, True. just let Monica stay where she's at. He can battle it out. He wants to be the kingpin. He knows he's the kingpin. He thinks he's the kingpin. Kingpin, fight it out. Fight John and fight Candace. That's going to be good to watch. I I agree with you, Missy. That is what I would love to see. However, I think what's going to happen is what Eric is saying. Unfortunately, but you all the way. I agree with Missy. I'm going to well, go to my alley. Well, my <laughs> or whatever you said I was doing. <laughs> well, you guys comment below. Let us know what you think. It is kind of hot, though. <laughs> <I'll give you> <laughs> Definitely. Now, don't forget. That uh, you can always go to yourrealityrecaps.com and click on the schedule on the main page to see when we are doing our shows each week. Normally, we always do them at this time, but I think, I haven't told you yet, Missy, we might be doing them later next week so that we can get more people to interact, but not that much later. But maybe we won't if it doesn't work with Missy because I haven't talked about it yet. So, the point is, make <laughs> sure you I find check. My news. Yeah, make sure you check out yourrealityrecaps.com for the show schedule. We're also going to have some holiday shows and other special announcements to for you guys later this weekend. Yeah, my outro, ding, because I'm going to put my little finger up so you know where to cut this in. You know, Missy does not do crystal meth in black alleyways. <laughs> there you go. So you don't want to tell people where to find you? No, they, they know where I'm at. I'm, oh. on, I'm on the island. No. <laughs> <laughs> You guys can and, follow me on Twitter at MI55Y. And Missy, I'm what? starting to catch on to you. I think you might be doing the John technique where you say something outrageous so that you get to kick the show off. Congratulations, because we all know what this one's starting off with. <laughs> oh, hey, Crystal John. Meth? Yeah. Listen, I mean, I don't even know what Crystal Meth looks like, to be quite honest with you. But, oh, well, I guess we're going to have to Google it. John. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What what is the opposite of no? Yes. Hey Missy, do you want some crystal meth? Thanks. Now I can edit that together. <laughs> no. Hey, John. No. Don't hey, John. Care that is <laughs> You're gonna edit that together. You <laughs> oh well. So be it. So now, now, it's now it's. You're bringing that... Missy Z's on crystal meth. <laughs> God, I don't even know what it looks like. Now it's time for my disclaimer. I was talking yeah. simply the crystal meth look, not actually doing the drug, which oh, can be, okay. you know, yeah. Which can wait, be kind of hot in its own way. John, wait. Right. Before you do this, isn't someone who does crystal meth like super skinny? Not. Okay, oh, I not have me. to jump in. I'm going to jump in right here because both of you are having a complete miscommunication. Missy, we are, he, we? Was, he wasn't saying you, he was saying Brad looks like a crystal meth user, not oh, you. Oh, okay. He wasn't and that you, what do you, you said Brad's kind of cute, and I said, do you like that crystal meth looking, tattooed in an alley kind of guy? Oh, and I said not I Not you. Yeah, not oh. you. 
Not you. We just Not say me. no to drugs here at real your reality recaps, okay? <laughs> say no to drugs. You know what we say John, yes to? What are you to? doing to your hair? <laughs> we say yes to outros, John. Go. Go. Hey, everyone. So much fun talking about Survivor and Crystal Meth. Um, you can find me at Comedy Jonah on Twitter. <laughs> and just say no to drugs, kids. Bye! <laughs> well, that about wraps up our show for this week. Now, don't forget to head over to yourrealityrecaps.com to see all of our blogs, contests, and videos about Big Brother, Survivor, The Amazing Race, and even The Real Housewives. Oh yeah, Bravo fans, we cover those shows too. And John even does blogs about them, kind of like Michelle's blog. You know what, speaking of, except, well, not really, you can take all of our shows with you to go on your favorite mobile device or tablet. The iTunes and RSS feed links are below this video. And I even separated them between audio and video only feeds. Which, if you watch or listen in iTunes, can you please just take one minute and rate us five stars? Five stars are going to kick a baby. Okay, not going to kick a baby, <laughs> but we would really appreciate it. And if you're watching on, you know, YouTube or in a YouTube player, then give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any shows. And seriously, it really helps support us and it allows us to keep bringing you content like this, our live events, and doing our prize giveaways. But if you guys really want to be a gold star supporter, then sign up to the live feeds through yourrealityrecaps.com. Just make sure you clear your cookies first. Or, you know what, you can also make a donation directly to us over there if you want, and you can do that too. But look, I get it. Money site. You guys should try not having any because you spend all of your time making shows and never working. <laughs> Whoa, I'm kidding. Why I love these. Now, look, the easiest way that you guys can support us is simply just to share these videos on Twitter and Facebook. Actually, any social media website will do. You can find us on any social media website by just going to yourrealityrecaps.com slash the name of the site you're looking for. So, slash Tumblr, slash Pinterest, slash Aaron in the Face. Don't slash Aaron in the Face, people. I am kidding. And look, we're not just asking you guys to do it for our own selfish reasons. Every time you share content, you're entered into our iPad Bundle giveaway contest. The details for that are over at the website, or you can just click all around this video. And you know what? The real reason that we guys do these shows is because we love interacting with all of you. So make sure that you leave your questions, comments, and suggestions wherever you're watching this, because you never know what's going to make the show the following week, or even instantly, if you guys watch our live shows that we do in our Z-Box room every Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern. The links to that and everything that I mentioned in this video are below wherever you're watching this video or over at yourrealityrecaps.com. So since I think I covered everything I could possibly cover, I will see you guys all next show. Bye for now.